Hi everyone and uh, welcome to our live announcement of the, uh, the roadmap for Boson for 2024 and I'm also going to be um, delving into some of the Boson master plan part four. So great to have you all here um, and let's, let's sort of dive right into it. Um, so as a sort of overview of, of where we are uh, with, with, with Boson, um, you know, we're, we're at a stage with Boson where we have built, we've built the core protocol. We've built a whole bunch of functionality. We've built a suite of dApps and we are now plugging into, um, these kind of scaled distribution channels. So for example, we're plugging into WooCommerce with their 4 million websites. And we're really, for the first time, um, we are what we're calling product complete and um, and and have a vibrant market um, and adoption uh, coming. So within these sort of previous cycles, um, you know, we saw a whole bunch of adoption. We did Metaverse Fashion Week um, last year and the year before when, you know, we had brands like Tommy Hilfiger, et cetera. But we were very much on sort of not prototypes, but like, you know, MVP versions of the protocol, lots of, um, you know, challenges there and just weren't really kind of production ready. Now that the protocol is is fully built out, tested um, and, and got this whole suite of applications enabling um, anyone to sell physical things as, as NFTs without intermediaries. So it's a super exciting time for us. Um, and one of the other benefits of, of having, having built out all of this core is now we can get to some of the really exciting fun bits that are going to be game changers for commerce and that, that um, sellers and merchants have really, really been asking for. Um, so if uh, we start out then, I will go through, I'll just give a bit of an overview um, of, of the roadmap. Um, so what we what we have are sort of three three sort of well three or four sections to the roadmap. The first part is a massive upgrade um, it, to the protocol. Uh, the biggest upgrade we've had apart from version two. So it's not a full kind of um, version upgrade of the protocol because all of the core logic um, of the protocol stays in place, but it does have these you know, three components of price discovery, perpetual royalties and sequential commit, which I'll talk about. But basically, the, you know, these, the, these connect Boson to, you know, all of these different auction systems, price discovery uh, systems that are super important with, with, with um, you know, NFT sales and, and physicals, but also um, solve this problem of enabling creator royalties on secondary sales of physical items. It's a real holy grail. So I'm, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Um, we've then got a couple of really, you know, really powerful advanced commerce features with, with, with fidget, fidgetals and the, and, the, and the commit widget. Again, these, you know, these are the tools that, that, that uh, sellers and partners have, have, have been asking for. Um, Another big upgrade to the to, to WooCommerce, so version two of that, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain. Um, and then and then finally, we'll be working towards um, the integration with Fermion um, and uh, a marketplace for physical real world assets that will combine both um, Boson and Fermion, um, and uh, which is which is kind of the super exciting culmination of the year. So really thinking about um a sort of you can you can think of it as a kind of a competitor to open sea for physical real world assets um so let's 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 dive right into it um and let's 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 start off with price discovery um so <clears throat> at the moment uh with with uh, boson the offer price is is fixed. So a seller will um, list an item for a fixed price. If the buyer likes the description, they will they they will commit funds for that fixed price. Um, now, of course, both in the NFT world where you know it's normal to have these sort of different auction formats, 
And then also within DeFi, we've got um, you know new mechanisms evolving, uh, such as bonding curves, etc. <clears throat> it's really advantageous for us to be able to leverage some of this economic innovation and be able to to to, to plug into these different price discovery mechanisms. So um, with this uh, boson Schrodinger upgrade upgrade. Um, which is the, the version that we're we're launching, um, we will be able to leverage external auction systems, whether that's OpenSea or external contracts. So, you know, sellers will be able to leverage OpenSea for their auction functionality whilst maintaining all the buyer assurance of, um, of, 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 of boson um, transactions. Uh, sellers will be able to do um, sort of auctioned, uh, physical NFT drops on their own website. Um, and so really kind of making DeFi and, NF and NFT um, price discovery mechanisms really simple to integrate with, with Boson physical product drops and, and really merging these kind of like digital and physical commerce paradigms. Um, so all of this is going to you know, result in um, better price discovery, increased uh, liquidity while still maintaining um, boson sort of crypto economic price assurance. Um, so the next uh, kind of feature of the um, boson uh, Schrodinger up upgrade is is sequential commit, um, and so with the with the current version of boson. What happens is that, that buyers will put their money into the protocol um, and receive a redeemable NFT in lieu of the, the physical product. Now, the, the kind of boson assur buyer assurance is that if the seller doesn't deliver that physical product, um, the buyer will be able to get their money back with whatever money was put in. So let's imagine that Alice, Alice goes to the protocol and she sees a bicycle that she likes and so she commits a hundred dollars into the protocol um if the seller doesn't deliver the bicycle no problem the protocol's got a hundred dollars um locked up which it can return to alice and alice is made whole right so that's her, her her protection but what happens is if alice puts a hundred dollars into the protocol takes a redeemable nft and then goes and sells that to sue and she sells that to sue for 150 dollars right so, and does that outside of the protocol? Well, now you, you, you have a problem because if the seller doesn't deliver the product to Sue, Sue is out of pocket $150 and the protocol only has $100 to reimburse her. So she suffers what we, we call like a partial rug pull. Um, so what sequential commit does is it enables Sue, instead of doing this secondary sale outside of the protocol to do the secondary sale within the protocol. Um, so in this case, then instead of Sue doing some sort of off-chain or you know outside of off-protocol transaction, Sue will put her $150 into the protocol, and the protocol will then escrow that such that if the seller fails to deliver the bicycle at the end, Sue will get her $150 back. Um, now. The design is a little bit smarter than that, actually, because there's two things we want to do. We want to make sure that everybody gets made whole, so nobody loses out. So Sue will get $150 back. Alice will get her $100 back. But there's also the opportunity here to partially release the fund. So actually, before the wholesale completes, Alice can take her $100 out. She'll have to wait to get that final bit of profit, fifty dollars, just in case, you know, until the until until the the transaction successfully completes. Um, but basically, it just I mean, it's it's a fantastic design that just meets all of these requirements of ensuring that the it, that that the buyer assurance um, is completely intact, um, even through multiple secondary sales, and it's optimally capitally efficient. Um, it's it's an amazing design. Um, and so this this design provides a strong incentive for, for 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 buyers and secondary buyers to use the protocol for secondary sales, right? And so that's great. I mean, that's that. I mean, that 
that could be the the end of the update but the amazing thing about this is that now that we've got a strong strong incentive for for buyers to use the protocol for secondary sales it unlocks what is like a holy grail for commerce um and that is it unlocks the ability to 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 charge creator royalties on secondary sales of physical items because now that there's this strong incentive to use the protocol the secondary you know to do secondary sales to avoid these partial rug pulls the protocol can now enforce secondary royalties so for each one of these sales it can take uh, a, a fee and return that back to, to the creator um, so whereas you know currently if you create I don't know a piece of art or a clothing or any physical item um, that you know, secondary sales of that physical item now are completely, in, you know, uh, invisible, and there is no ability for for, for that original creator to, to to get a share of any of the value for the resale. Now, via these 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 two features on Boson, sequential commit, um, and what we're calling perpetual royalties, we we can we can deliver that, and this is massive. I mean, we 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 discussed this with. Um, a number of the sort of big sellers and, and and a couple of the big kind of fashion and luxury magazines and and they absolutely um love this feature i mean it's it's it is a holy grail it's literally a game changer and we're super excited to be launching this right into the beginning um of the of this um this bull market okay um so then we move on to sort of some of the advanced commerce features um that have been again i mean this one in particular has been um requested by multiple um multiple sellers so already within boson there is um a dap where sellers can go and create they can go and cre create uh, their own web3 store there's widgets and plugins they can sell in the metaverse um, I mean, they can sell on WooCom, they can do all of these different things. But um, this quid commit widget, it basically enables with a few lines of code um, for, for sellers to just plug this Web3 um, buy functionality into their website. Um, and so th this, is, this is part of our, what we call our kind of connect everywhere strategy, um, where we're sort of unbundling the traditional, quite quite fixed, um, linear commerce flow into uh, a, a more sort of, um, I guess, you know, deconstructed flow where you can plug, you know, you you could have this commit widget, and this is one of the um, one of the things we were, I was discussing with David Lockie, the Web three lead at WooCommerce, on a on a on a previous sort of crowdcast, where you know you you could have a a blogger that's selling stuff and you could literally just put this little commit widget next to the content uh you know you could mention a product on a web page somewhere and you could put a commit widget to just go and buy that product with no need for you know all of these kind of clunky e-commerce systems etc it's just you know very very kind of clean but also what sellers are looking for is to be able to plug this commit widget into their website uh, in a really simple way, a few lines of code, so that they can they they can do Web three commerce directly from their site. Um, so, yeah, it's a, a huge a uh, huge plus for for, for sellers. Um, okay, that next we we have the um, the full now DAP support support for digitals. Uh, we've had digitals on the pro on the protocol for a while, but um, having kind of sort of mvp that we've now got a really good handle on what are the features and functions that that sellers want to create fidgetals by fidgetals i mean um products that have a physical and digital element so you could have a physical pair of sneakers with you know a digital pair of sneakers that you might wear in the wear in the metaverse or you know th th things like that or a piece of art that that you can hang on your wall and use as a profile picture um, so users can now sort of create this digital offer easily within the, the DAP, bundling a physical item uh, and a wearable or other you know, digital or experiential things. Um, and, and of course, combine this with token, token gating uh, 
um, and, and and sort of do all this as as a as a as an NFT drop um, on their site on OpenSea and the metaverse. Um, so again, a really exciting uh, feature and a bit of an alpha leak. I think yeah, we'll likely be doing something um, to resell the Dolce and Gabbana glass suit um, using some of this functionality. Um, and then we've got the WooCommerce version two enterprise uh, app. So the current app that we have with Woo, WooCommerce um, is a sort of first stage really in terms of, of, of functionality. Um, and now this enterprise uh, version of the app really enables is kind of getting some of the, the, the feedback from um, you know some users etc and really will enable full end-to-end -end decentralized commerce directly from your WooCommerce store um, so I mean WooCommerce is the global market leader in terms of uh, e-commerce market share it's got about 38 percent uh, so it's about 30 38 percent of, of these sort of um, e-commerce stores are, are, are built on WooCommerce. That's 4 million sites worldwide. And now with the enterprise app within the, the WooCommerce um, app store, we'll easily be able to just, you know, drag and drop, plug and play um, uh, full end-to-end -end commerce. So, you know, from buy all the way through, through to re redeem. And um, this is part of our strategy to connect these um, scaled distribution channels um, of course, you know, we're keen to pick up lots of individual sellers, but really mass adoption is going to be about connecting fire hoses and, and, and there's no bigger fire hose than, than WooCommerce. Um, so next, um, you know, talk a little bit about this concept of a physical real world asset super system that we're building alongside um, Fermion Protocol. Um, so the vision that, that I have for Boson and Fermion is um, that Boson is this base layer for tokenizing in this trust minimized and, and, and efficient way. Um, but as I've mentioned in, 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 in previous um, sort of broadcasts, not all types of assets have in, you know, can, can be handled on Boson alone. So there are certain types of assets that once you've tokenized within Boson require a higher level of verification. And so like high value assets, you know, like precious metals, diamonds, high, high value art, commodities, real estate, all of these other, other things. Um, and so into what, what we are doing with Boson is integrating with Fermion where Boson will be the first stage of tokenization for any of these assets. Um, but there will be an additional level, which is the Fermion level, where assets can be then verified. And by verified, what I mean is, yeah, you know, instead of the seller sending the product directly to the buyer, which is how it happens in, in Boson, it's exactly how it happens with, you know, Amazon and eBay. Um, instead of that, the seller will send the product to a trusted verifier. Um, so, you know, if that was an expensive watch, it might be a Rolex service center or it might be, a, you know, a, a, a sort of a precious metals verifier or something like that. Um, and so together, these two protocols um, will form this core infrastructure for tokenizing um, any physical asset um, and any sort of physical real world asset. And so, I mean, the vision that we have here is, um, I mean, at the moment, I've spoken to lots and lots of founders who are, you know, there's this one guy in Mexico who is an expert in tequila and he's sort of, you know, looking to build a protocol uh, to, you know, to sell tequila. Well, okay, fine, he can use Boson. But then there are others that are, you know, selling, you know, items that require verification like whether that's property or commodities. Um, and these people are domain experts in their different areas. But at the moment, they are looking to sort of put together tech teams and build protocols. Well, the combination of Boson and Fermion means that these entrepreneurs can now just go and pick up these, you know, these generic technologies um, and they can focus on building dApps 
and they can focus on sourcing verifiers, custodians, and sellers rather than building this, you know, really really complex technology. Um, so that's the kind of we'll be speaking more about that 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 vision. But um, the the vision is to is is to set out this sort of um, infrastructure that will enable the tokenization of any physical real world asset. Um, and then finally, um, the culmination of this strategy really will be the launching of a physical real world asset global marketplace. So I mentioned how, you know, the functionality of Boson with things like enabling royalties on um, secondary sales of physicals, Fermion with this kind of out the box technology for verified physical assets. But all of that we will be bundling um, and creating a marketplace where people can sell any physical real world asset, either in a highly efficient, trust minimized way using Boson or in a highly verified uh, way using, using Fermion. I think you know, all this research, research and technology that we've um, you know, conducted and, and developed over, over several years um, will give us a huge competitive advantage in launching this. And you know, you can think of this as kind of like an open sea for uh, physical um, uh, real world assets. Um, so that, that that that's super exciting, and, and we will be sharing more on that um, in the coming months. Um, so that's 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 all for the, the the update today. And I hope you know found that interesting. We are going to be over the next sort of weeks and months um, uh, sharing more sort of deep dives on each of these um, these features and functions and upgrades as as as, as they um, launch. Um, so. Just left to say, really, thank you everyone for you know your continued support um, at Boson. Here, we are just super excited that you know we, we put our heads down during the bear market, we built and built, and now we are launching these amazing products into what looks like a raging bull market. Um, and hey, this is this is what um, us true believers believe for. Um, and so, one final word is for our for our Zeely followers. The code word is roadmap. Um, so that will mean something to some people. Thank you very much and, and speak to you all soon.